Alright guys, so today on What the Tech, we're going to take a look at evolution kits, uh, what they are, what different options we offer, and how you want to use them. So, first thing you, know, you need to know about evolution kits. There are three stages. Now, depending on what uh, kit you started with and what gun you're now trying to put it in is going to depend on which stage you need. So, stage one is a front end from either a Hydra or an Inferno. If it is a straight line gun that you're moving to, then you'll get an Inferno front end uh, with a center line nozzle. If it's an offset gun you're moving to, then you'll get a Hydra front end uh, with an offset nozzle. While a center line nozzle will fit in a Hydra front end, uh, we found that we get uh, more consistent uh, performance if you use the Inferno front end anytime you're doing a centerline build. So we do recommend that uh, for any centerline build. Now, your stage two kit will include the front end plus your trigger board and wire harness for the gun that you're moving to. So in this case, this is a, a V2 trigger board and wire harness. A stage three kit will include all of that plus an FCU. Why the three different kits and, and what do we need for each? Just as an example, if you were moving from an M14, let's say to a, just a standard V2, you would want the stage two evolution kit. This would give you the appropriate wire harness, trigger board, and front end, including nozzle and baffle and cylinder, go in the V2 gearbox. On the other hand, if you were moving from, uh, let's say, an Inferno Spartan Edition uh, over to an M14, you would want to get the Stage 3 kit because that's going to give you the front end that you need, it's going to give you the wiring and trigger board that you need, and it, since the Spartan uh, FCU is integrated into the trigger board, you also need the FCU, so you want Stage 3 kit. If you already have all the wiring and such that you need for your gun and you just want the mechanical parts, you just need the stage one kit, center line, offset, whichever you need, and you can just swap those over real quickly. So let's take a look at how that works. So we have our Inferno here and we had it in a V2, let's say, an M4, and we want to swap it over to an M14. You're gonna get this guy here and literally all you have to do to swap it is unscrew the front end, remove the front end entirely, including your baffle, your nozzle, and cylinder. You take the evolution kit and you thread it directly on. All right. At this point, it's ready to be dropped into an M14. So that's really all it is. It's gonna work exactly the same way if you started with a Hydra. Uh, this one's built out for a P90. And let's say you decided you wanted to put it in an M4. Uh, you're gonna get the M4 evolution kit. All you're gonna do is unscrew the front end, thread it on. Now it is ready to go. Another really nice thing about getting, uh, when you're, especially when you're dealing with offset nozzles, it, you know, using evolution kits as opposed to just buying different nozzles, is these can be a little tricky to disassemble, uh, especially if you're not you know, real tech savvy. You have to unthread the base of the nozzle from the front of the nozzle. So if you just get an evolu evolution kit, you don't have to disassemble any of that. You just unscrew the entire thing and you can keep this and when you decide to swap it back, you just pop it right on. So that's how you do an evolution kit with Wolverine Airsoft Evolution Series. Uh, we have these available for virtually any, any gun on the market at this point. We have just about anything we have a nozzle for, you can buy an evolution kit specifically for that gun. And if you buy stage two or three, it'll include not just the nozzle and front end, but it'll include all the wiring and everything you need for that specific gun. So thanks for watching guys, I hope that was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, this has been What the Tech with Wolverine Airsoft. And be sure to give us a subscribe up on YouTube so you can get lots more great videos. What the tech?